All right, so what we're looking at is uh, the AC for this on a Civic. Uh, unfortunately, it's not working. So we're gonna go and uh, find out what's what's going on. All right, so we're we're at the engine bay. You can see the AC fan. Working, but the compressor is not engaging. You see, it, you see there? That's the compressor. It's not getting engaging at all. So we're gonna check if we have a prion inside. Okay, so now the AC line is hooked up to this machine here. Um, the low side has got 35 psi and the high, high side is 4, 4 psi. So at this point, maybe we're going to uh, uh, vacuum the system and put a new prey on in it. And Maybe it's in, uh, contamination inside, so that's why it's not circulating properly. So let's do that. Okay, so now I vacuumed it. So it seems like it's holding a little bit of vacuum, so it should be all right. And now we're ready to fill up, but make sure you, before you put, you put your prion, make sure you put a little bit of oil, AC oil, so that you won't run your compressor dry. So at this point we're gonna fill up the prion. So once you put this uh, adapter here, you kind of twist the knob all the way to the until the the needle inside will pinch the the can, and then it will make a hole, and then you retract this knob here so that it will let the uh, the AC in right so now we're ready to fill up all you have to do just open the blue the blue side or the high um, low side of the uh, AC so as you can see Compressor is not running, so this is our problem. Uh, we have problem with the compressor, so at this point we're gonna have to find why the compressor is not working. So first thing first, we're gonna have to find where is the compressor relay. You're gonna need this kind of tool or anything like in this nature. Um, for this particular car, it's very easy to find the relay, so you have to just go to the undercover of the fuses here. You should be able to see the fuse relay. So according to this uh, diagram here, um, this part here is for AC controller. This is for the AC uh, radiator fan. So we are interested in this part here. So we're gonna remove this relay and check it. So that's that would be. If I'm not mistaken. That would be this relay here. seems to work so when I put it back it kind of click that means it really works it works but again we have to test it we have to test it if it's everything is in uh, the right uh, condition okay we got 12 volts there 
robots here ground here and let's test the relay seems like the relay works but now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to put two bolts in here because that's this this going to the uh, AC compressor uh, connection and the AC comp compressor side so I'm going to put two bolts and see what happens nothing so at this point it seems like the because we have 12 volts here right and really seems to work but if I put 12 volts here the compressor it should work but it doesn't how do I know that because I I can't I should I should be able to hear the compressor start running as soon as soon it I soon put a voltage here but it's not nothing so at this point is there's something wrong with the compressor itself uh, maybe it's a clutch that uh, I have to take it out and uh, uh, clean it out or anything like that so uh, uh, let's go from there all right we are under the car so as you can see we are looking at a compressor AC compressor and I'm interested with this what they called a thermal switch which is located here so this line here is your positive and this line here It goes to your uh, uh, relay and fuses. So from relay to fuses, it goes here and then continue to connect into this line into your clutch. Now, this thermal switch, if it's faulty, as you can see, it's disintegrated or it's got a lot of uh, oxidation there now this might be the, the cause so it will not let positive through it through it so what I'm going about to do now I'm gonna remove this and check right um, if this is a, a problem if this is the problem then problem solved so let's do it eight millimeter Now you're gonna need a screwdriver to pry that out. There's a screwdriver here. It's gonna be a pain in to, to get this out this corrosion. Well I don't want to break it so here what we're going to do I'm going to test the positive here so so before so I don't want to pry this out because if I pry it out and force it out there because of the corrosion it will break so there's no point of testing it because you break it already so you know before it's better to test it while it's in there and you know for the fact that it's not work, uh, broken so 
put a wire here and see if we have a connection so here's my uh, tool here my trusty handy uh, uh, a voltage meter and the test light at the same time uh, so if this probe here grounded to this clip right that's a continuity it will beep so now we're going to connect this alligator clip here to our switch which is this one here so right so this alligator the it's connected to the um the, the switch there the thermal switch right so we connect it there and then now here's our here's the this is the relay for the ac here right so this part here is the positive but just to make sure if we have the positive we'll check it so that's zero and that's positive so now this is goes to the battery this side here goes this side here goes to the battery because that's positive right so this go should go to the compressor so now if i push it here if everything good it should be beeping so there you go it's beeping that means you should have a continuity okay so here i set it up so that goes to the uh, switch thermal switch under the car All right goes to my Multimeter here, right? Hooked up to the negative. Positive is the uh, switch, and the negative, it's a negative battery. So the multimeter is there. So this uh, uh, probe here, uh, we're going to put a positive on this uh, uh, switch uh, uh, line. So if I put positive here, if the thermal switch is good, we should have 12 volts here. So I switch it here, put a positive, 12 volts, right? And 12 volts. Okay? Off. 12 volts. Off. So, therefore, the switch is good. So good thing I didn't take it off because it's it still works. So here's my uh, clutch kit. Order online. We got all the hardware there. We have it comes with, even comes with the thermal kit or the thermal switch. So here's the magneto. pulley all right new bearings and the plate all right so what we're going to do is to test everything first if everything works fine So let's do that. Okay, so to verify everything, so make sure the as you can see this this wire here goes to the thermal switch and to our positive here and obviously the magnet already inside and this is the pulley and this goes to the ground, right? So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a positive into our relay and once I put a positive, we should have mag magnetic field. 
Okay? So, let's do that. So right now we don't have magne mag magnetic magnetic field. So as soon as I put the positive here, we should have magne magnetic. So, so well, right there. See that? Now it's magnetic. So if I let go, nothing. Put positive in it. See? So we have magnetic field. So Everything is working fine. Now at this point, we have to replace the magneto. 100% is the magneto is the issues. So let's do it.